Okay, we're going to go back to AutoCAD, and we're just going to continue adding doors where we need to. So there's a bathroom in here. There needs to be a door into this room, a door into that room, and something's going on into that one. Uh, these are also these accordion doors, so we'll do the same thing we did down here with those doors in there. The bathroom's an interesting situation because we have to add a sink and a, and a tub and a commode. <clears throat> so let's go back to... Um, this let's look for a bathroom sink let's see if we can do that bathroom sinks um, all right so um, we might look at something like that so it's gonna have a cabinet or something underneath of it uh, you can do a bathroom sink just like that generally they're gonna be around uh, this one looks like it goes into a uh, thing there so it's gonna be the same as uh, as a cabinet um, that you would find in your kitchen about 24 inches out from the wall then we just have to make sure something like that fits in there if we pick something that was say an oval shape um, to put into a cabinet space uh, let's find something that looks somewhat decent we could do something like that too if we wanted to <clears throat> um, let's see what it what it tells us about the width of this and now this is gonna kinda change because if we look how wide this is let's see Shape is oval, that's how much it weighs. Maybe I jumped ahead too fast. Ah, the length of the bowl. The overall length is 20 inches long. So if we made something to say, how much space do you need on each side of your sink? Do you need more than 4 inches? Maybe you want 6 inches on each side of your sink. So let's say it was, um, or 4 inches. Uh, 4 inches would make it 28 inches wide. Uh, 5 inches would make it 30. Let's go 32. That would make it 6 inches on each side. That way you can put down here uh, er, curling irons and blow dryers and toothbrushes and those kinds of things. So we'll go um, another 6 inches on each side of this. So the overall length will be 32 wide and 24 out from the wall. And then we'll put an oval in it. Alright, so <clears throat> let's make a sink uh, or a cabinet that would be 32 this way, 32 inches. That way we'll go this way, 24 inches. Uh, we'll go 32 inches this way. We might have to make some adjustments later and close. Um, and in this case, we're just going to go ahead and move this whole thing, do a window around that, from that corner right there up here to this corner right here. So now we've got that in place. All right, at that plate point, we can go in here. Let's see. We don't want to use that one. Oh, no, here's where we're looking. We're looking to make... Um, we got these options here of doing an ellipse. So let's pick the center. And we'll say the center of this is... We're going to eyeball it and put it in here somewhere. Go up to about right there and... So we'll make an oval, oh, about like that. And that's pretty good. And these sinks tend to have uh, drains in the center that are only about two inch diameters. So let's say two inches. Um, so that's it. So that's where our sink is. So that leaves a space over here for a bathroom door to open inward, right? But before we put the door in, <clears throat> let's go ahead and figure out, uh, wait, let's go here, see how this layout. So there's a commode right there between the sink and and the tub <clears throat> so let's go to um, back to the internet we'll go to Lowe's and we're gonna put in bathroom tubs and let's see what comes up alright so do that um, so tub mat so maybe that's not what I wanted to do let's just let's just go with the tub and see what happens oops tub yeah, see, now we're looking at those kinds of things there that would have a shower and the shower stall and all right in it. <clears throat> so um, we could probably get away with something that simple. Uh, we would do a combination of something like this and that together, or this and that one together. So let's look at this option here. Let's come down to the specifications, and we're going to look for the actual heights, 14 inches. That's a tub, so the length is 60 inches, which is 5 feet standard and the width of this one's 30 inches if you want to buy find, find a tub that's a little bigger or something like that you could but we'll go 60 by 30 <clears throat> so if we go back over here we will just offset that should be 60 inches we'll offset this 30 inches and go this way all right so we can type li and hit enter and then click this and it'll list what this is we're going to list that object, right click and enter, and it tells us that it's 5 foot, which is equal to 30, uh, 60 inches. So now <clears throat> we can go in here, and usually you got about a 2 inch lip on each side, maybe a little bit more on this side over here that's open uh, to the tub. Let's look at it. Oops, not, not Windows, not, not Word. I'll go back to the internet here. And you see how the tub has, oh, 
that's a thicker on this side than it is over here. That's so you can put your foot on it or sit on it if you need to. The side's the side that goes against the wall. But we don't need to. We don't even need to do that. But look at the radius right here. It's a wider radius than it is down here. Um, especially. Oh no, this is a wider radius here than it is back here. So this is a flat spot where if you were sitting in the tub it would be comfortable for your back. So we're going to make it so it has this shape, not so much this shape, um, even though those radius, the radii are about the same. Uh, we'll do it this way so we can put where the drain goes. <clears throat> That's generally what you're going to do. So let's go in here and we will offset. Let's offset about two inches all the way around this thing. So we'll offset this one that goes this way, this one goes this way, this one goes this way, and this one goes this way. Now to make it simple, we'll just click on fill it again. We're going to set our radius back to zero just so, so, oops, not zero, just so we can get sharp corners on this so we can actually get a good fillet on it in a minute. You could, if you wanted to, go ahead and put the right fillet in uh, to make it easier, but we want to get that, uh, I want to get that so they're in here so that I know what the shape of that is. <clears throat> um, because I uh, also know that when they build things, so like the drains here, the drain for your commode is going to be right here, the drain for this, so underneath is all these are lined up and it's going to make things really, really cheap to, as far as plumbing goes. So I might look at this and say um, stretch this part right here. I'm actually going to stretch it back this way a little bit more. I might go as far as, oh, that three inches actually looked good, so we'll do three inches there. All right. <clears throat> now, because we want the flat spot on the back here, we're going to make a small radius on the back. So let's say we'll do fillet and radius again, and this time we'll do a 6-inch radius here. And you see how that's going to put a nice radius in there. Repeat, right-click and repeat that, that right there. So we'll do the fillet on the other end, a little more sloping like it was, and we'll change that one. So hit R and Enter and make that one 12 inches. And so now we click this and this, and it's a, in a bigger radius. Repeat that fillet. So you see how that looks like a bathtub? <clears throat> so now we can go in here and say, um, we'll just do a circle and put it somewhere right. That's not directly in the center, so let's go right to the middle of this. It's another 2-inch diameter. Oops. There, and I'm just going to move it. Uh, I'll move it so it goes straight out here, somewhere right about there. So that's what a tub's going to look like. Now, <clears throat> so we made the tub and put the tub in there. It's basically lined up the same, not exactly, but it'll be okay. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll go here to the, the toilet, the imperial toilet, and we're going to drop it in here. Now, that's obviously not right because this is an elevation. So when you click on it, we're going to, oh, we don't want to switch that side. That doesn't make a difference. What we want to do is change it so we're doing the plan view. Um, usually that's one for industrial. Usually you would use a more round commode in your home. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. So we'll click rotate. We'll rotate this this way. Oops, undo. Made a mistake. So I'll try rotating from a different point. Let's rotate that one that way. There we go. <clears throat> so now what we can do is do a, figure out what the distance is from here to here. 2 foot 10. So that means that let's move this right here. And 2 foot 10 is going to be 1 foot 5 inches down the other way. So let's move this 1 foot, 1 foot 5 inches. So that puts it right in the middle. And so now we've got a really nice looking <coughs> uh, bathroom in there. So I'll move that over and get that out of the way so the center of that's still there. Remember, the yellow lines aren't going to be printed when we're done. But now we've got to get into that room. Right, so we can go over here, click on the door, and put a door in, and I'll put a door right here on that corner, right there. Uh, I think I, what I want to do is I want to flip that so it goes the other direction, and I'll move this from here to here. All right, I'm going to change my wall width to go back to four inches, and this obviously isn't going to work in here. So two foot eight, how much do we need? Two foot six doors, probably good. Uh, this gives us space between here and here. Um, and we'll t type DI and get a distance that goes from here to here again. And that was six inches right there. So I'm just going to move it two inches because they used to usually do numbers uh, divisible by four or um, two in this case would be a better, better choice. So then we can click trim, select that and this 
right click with your mouse and so that leaves enough room for the door handle <clears throat> all right so we got a bathroom door there um let's now look at this little piece right in here right what we probably want to do is do something like this uh hmm. let's see if i make this i'm going to go ahead and extend this down to this here shift right click perpendicular and i'm going to do the same thing on this one actually come down here shift right click and go to the perpendicular i'm going to put that wall kind of back in there but only uh, to be able to put a door in for now. So if I come in here and put a door in this, I'll pick a spot, say right here, and I'll click rotate. I'm going to rotate this door down this way. Uh, now that I got it positioned in here, I don't want it to open this way. I want it to open against the wall. So I'm going to switch the position to go the other direction. And we're going to pick a door that's smaller than the opening here. Um, so uh, let's go from this one. Oops, hit escape. I want to pick a door that's going to be smaller than that. Let's go back four inches there. And we're going to go back. Hold on. This is the way. I'm clicking the wrong side because I'm thinking incorrectly. I want to go this way. Um, wow, that really messed up. Don't know why, but we'll just move it back to where I want it to be. I'll put it on that end point there. So sometimes stuff like that happens, and you just have to deal with it. And that's what we're doing. We're dealing with it. So this is not quite enough gap there. So let's go down to this here because we want that's too small what we want to do is leave enough room on each side of that door so let's see if we type di and figure out what's left over here six inches so uh let's move that let's move this up two inches we'll click move and we'll go up this way two inches and let's see what's left over so let's see if we can find something if there's something else in between that would go up to there. That leaves two inches on each side of that door. Um, so that's good. So now we can click trim, click this and this, and we'll get rid of those pieces there in the middle. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and click that, drag this one back to here. Uh, but I am going to need to trim using this and this. I'll trim that little piece out right there. So now we got that correct. The other thing we want to do is click trim use this one and this one and we want to right click and get rid of that alright so now we've got where that door is in place we're gonna find ourselves kinda of doing some very similar things here with this uh, to make the door in this area and in the doors for these closets uh, in here I don't know if it, those closets will be big enough to be able to do this that would be neat if it we could but it might not work so <clears throat> All right, so we've got those doors. We've got three doors to work in here. I'm probably going to need to do that in the next video.